Hey guys, welcome back to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. Design team member Kanika joined this side, and in this video, I shall be talking about the Dress My Craft Love You tag dies and different ways to use them. But before moving forward, make sure you have subscribed to our channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So that's how Love You tags die looks like. It is a set of three dies. which comes like this so one is the base die which is this one and the approximate size of all these three dies is 55 mm by 31 mm you can use this die as the base layer and then add these one on the top so this die says love you and then we have the third die which is this one this says hello my love and now let's get into the video and how you can use them up in different ways so that's how the base die cut looks like this one is the love you die cut and now talking about the third one this is hello my love now i will be showing you how you can die cut these so for that here i am using my easy cuts machine from dress my craft if you want to know more about this machine you can check out the description box i have posted the link so here i am using the dress my craft pastel pink textured card stock and i will be making a sandwich onto my easy cuts machine onto which i am placing over the acrylic plate the card stock i am keeping the die upside down and then again keeping an acrylic plate and then i am simply die cutting it once and within one go your die cut would be done which you can see it here So for the top layer I will be using a darker color card stock the reason is that I need to make sure I take contrasting colors so that both the layers are visible like here you can see I have some samples so for the base layer as I have used the pastel pink textured card stock so for now top layer I am using a brown color card stock and I am simply placing over both the dies onto my easy cuts machine creating a similar sandwich and this time i will be taking it to and fro as it has got that script pattern so i need to make sure it gets perfectly die cut so now i will be using my ultimate die cleaning tool from dress my craft and if you want to know more about this tool as well the link is in description box and you can see how crisp die cutting we have got similarly for the other die cut as well i will take it out from the die and the link to buy all these craft supplies which i am showing in this video is mentioned in description box so you can check that out can you see how crisp die cutting we have got so now these are two of the top players we get from the die set and now throughout this video we shall be creating several more projects so first let's make the base one so here i am taking my glue the liquid adhesive and i am simply adding it on the back side of the top layer so make sure you cover all the areas so that it gets stuck on the base layer as well it's totally your choice if you don't want to add this top layer if you don't want to stick it on the base layer you can leave both the layers and simply add the satin ribbon twine and hang them up but when you stuck them up they are permanent so similarly i'll do with the second one as well and so here is a quick tip for everyone if you're using liquid glue make sure you're keeping your die upside down on your non stick craft mat from dress my craft and add adding the glue so that the excess one will be on non stick craft mat and you won't ruin your work space and as well your hands and later you can simply clean off your non stick craft mat so if you want to know more about the dress my craft non stick craft mat you can check out the description box as i recently did a video now here i am using the white satin ribbon twine from dress my craft and i am taking two of them and now simply adding it to the top to make the tag look complete so that's the base tags which we have made now let's get into the variations so here i have this die cut on the pastel pink card stock and i'm simply fussy cutting like this the outer layer to make it look like this similarly i will be doing it for 3 to 4 die cuts and then what i'm going to do is on to the first 
die cut i am simply going to add liquid adhesive and then on the second die cut i will be simply going to place it over exactly on the top like this so similarly i will be adding four layers to make it give a 3d look so that's how the two layers look like and here i have this one ready which has the four layers so it has got little bit of 3d dimension and now what i'm going to do is here i have the base die cut on the pastel pink cardstock of the base layer which is this one and now on the back side of the 3d die cut i'm going to apply the liquid adhesive making sure i'm applying it all over so it gets stuck very well to the base layer and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add it in an angular direction like this so that it gets a new look so i have touched three sides and then that's how it looks so now moving on to another variation so here i have used the simple cardstock and then using my black pen i have made the borders and i have simply die cut several of them and then here i have the top layer which looks like this and for that i have used the ruffled rose die and decorated the top and now you must be thinking how i created the top layer so for that i use the pastel pink cardstock and using my black pen i simply added these dots all over to make it look like a pattern like this and then i added the sentiment and as well decorated it with the dress my craft dies and now i am going to simply insert all of these tags into a jump ring to make it look like a tag book so let me show you how this tag book looks like so here's the picture of it Similarly, you can as well create your own customized tags that is here. I have stamped the image which says handmade with love. So you can add these kind of tags to your gift projects as well. So you can hang these tags on your handmade products. Isn't that a great idea to have your own customized tags? So that's how the picture of these tags looks like. Now moving on to the next design here, I have made a tag which says hug you. And for the die cut, I have used the Trust My Craft Sentiment dies. It is a set of 10 dies and I have used the word hugs and you. And from hugs, I have trimmed off S to make it hug you. Here I have as well created similar tag book and now let's decorate the top of it. So here what I'm going to use is I have this Sweet Treats motif sheet. And out of this, I have trimmed off this particular motif and fussy cut it which looks like this and on the back side i have used the 3d foam tape and now at the center i am going to place it over i have zoomed in a little bit so it's clear to you and then here i have printed a sentiment which says remember and then i will be adding this sentiment in an angular position so that it looks little dimensional like here you can see I have tilted the sentiment it will give a very nice look so now similarly I'll add these tags and then add it to the jump ring and our mini tag book is ready and that's the picture of how it looks now similarly on the brown cardstock i've added the black dots and here i have taken a fussy cut of motif sheet from the latest mini mo collection from dress my craft and i have added the 3d foam tape and adding this embellishment on the top and then on the bottom i am adding a sentiment which says hello world and our another tag book is ready which looks like this so this set of dress my craft die which is the love you tags is a must have in your stash and you can simply use the base of this one and create your own things and just not the top two layers which is love you or hello my love so grab your hands on this amazing love you tags die from dress my craft i am looking forward to see your creations see you soon until next time till then happy crafting